The principles of the Code of Ethics are connected, yet when applying them in some cases, finding the right balance may be difficult. Let's look at this scenario, where Myra, a registered dietitian, counsels her client, Kim. Kim is interested in a controversial diet. She shares some of her research with Myra. It's from both credible and less credible sources. Overall, there's mixed scientific evidence for the diet, and there may be some risk. Given the information available, Myra is not sure how to help Kim. Myra is conflicted. On the one hand, respect for autonomy requires Myra to be open to client input and accept her client's choice to pursue a specific treatment. On the other hand, beneficence requires her to take an evidence-based approach, even though there is not much data to go on. The lack of information also compromises her ability to uphold the principle of non-maleficence, identifying potential harm and avoiding risk. Knowing that demonstrating professionalism when caring for a client is the foundation of the client dietitian relationship, Myra reflects on the situation. She examines her own biases, conducts additional research, and consults with colleagues. Myra knows that dietitians have an ethical obligation to base communication on constructive dialogue and civility. She knows that a professional relationship should be based on trust, dignity, and care. By being open-minded and discussing the risks and benefits of the diet with Kim, Myra demonstrates a caring attitude. This enables Kim and Myra to work together on a path forward based on mutual respect. For guidance on applying the principles of the Code of Ethics in your own dietetic practice, contact the College of Dietitians of Ontario. We're here to help.